check for me. First Corinthians 6 18. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, go to 15, sir. Start from 15, sir. Start from 15, sir. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Know you not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Your eye is part of the body of Christ. Your ear, your nose, your madiga, your bumbo. You should not use it anyhow. Are you hearing? Open your eyes. I won't buy the hola. Do you not know that every part of your body belongs to Christ? Don't, don't tell me that I'm a beautiful girl. I will use what I have to get what I am looking for. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Your, your, your part, every part of you belongs to Christ. And you should honor every part of your body. Where you honor every part of your body and live it for Christ is a way of worship. Because I'm going to show it to you now. Shout hallelujah. Now look at this. Bring it back, sir. Bring it back. Know you not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of an what? Harlot. God forbid. Listen to me. Harlot is not only those that are hanging on the road. There are men that are in, into prostitution. There are ladies into prostitution. You must know your motive of going to church. If your motive is to capture a guy, eh, you have failed. If your motive is to capture a guy, maybe the, when the guy marries another person, you start criticizing like the church. Church, and I have one man who begin to get shot because you need to veto everything somebody is saying. Many people say things with negative motive, not for godly motive. I am going out of the church, and I have one man who be, and when you fly, oh, yeah, get shot, or you go get shot, get shot, baby, get shot, a woman, get shot, a man. You need to know why you came. Auburn here, but I had to hang out with Beb or wrong address. Wrong address. The house of God is not a place ever natural. It's shot at a chinek. A better ever can we care, Lord? A better ever can fetch in it. Seek you first his kingdom and his righteousness. All that thing shall be added. It is better we will make our motive clear. But if it is God you came to serve, marriage is something God will give to you. In case it's why you came, I'm changing your motive. I'm helping you. Change your motive. Let your motive be to serve God in truth and in spirit. When you have gotten God, marriage is something God gives to bless you. Are you hearing this? Shout, I receive grace. Bring back that scripture. Look at this. What? Know you not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? Do you see how, do you see how causes can transfer to people? Do you see how evil spirits can transfer to people? Do you see how sicknesses can transfer to people? STD, sexual transmitted disease. Not only disease, sexual transmitted demons. Then there were the STC, sexual transmitted causes. Always the STP, sexual transmitted poverty. Many people, their lives are shut down. Many people, their life have been shut down. Many people, their glory have been shut down because they unite themselves with her lords. Do you know how many demons people are carrying? Everybody is a carrier of a spirit. But the question, what spirit is the person carrying? 
There are those that are carrying godly spirit or clean spirit. And there are many that are carrying unclean spirit. When you unite yourself with an opposite sex in fornication, in adultery, in homosexual, in lesbianism, how can a man uh, uh, sleeping with another man and you're having sex from the bomb This is mental retardation into syncrasy. It's a mental case. You did not even fear shit. How can people play with sin? You can say that sin is dirty. You could not even fear. That means you are not hygienic. That means you are not hygienic in the, in the first place. That you can sell a man from the anus. You are not even, you are not even, I mean, the shit is not even touching you. You bring out your money and you see shit, you put again. Shame! Can I preach on here? I'm still talking on brokenness. You and me go break by force. The word of God will break us. A lady will carry a finger she has never washed. Put it into your private part. Tomorrow you are having infection. Carry dirty hand. Put it. What are you doing? I Again, I come over. Is there no fear that's paying me a salary? So I'm free to talk the mind of God. If you are, if you are paying me, then you can control my tongue. Is heaven that pays me. So, I have freedom to say the mind of God with love and with respect. Look at this. I studied this place. I was, I was afraid. Be careful about immorality. There are many people who are agents of darkness. It's not everything on, 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 on clothes is a human being. Because when you are entering somebody, you are entering another, another, another space. You are entering another planet. You are entering another world. A woman's private part that is not your wife, that place is a bit of hell. When you enter into a woman's private part who is not your wife, that place is a pit of hell. You better come out before you talk. And you as a lady, don't allow any man you don't know where he came from. Do you know the kind of cause that is in their family? Do you know what their family is supposed to do? Do you know what their ancestral causes in that young man house? You, you, you open yourself. He carries satanic road of destruction and enter to destroy you. This is supernatural quinine. You're not hearing this. <laughs> Wave your hand say, I, I receive grace. We must, we must break my force. <laughs> you can't tell me I know Jesus, but there is a phone number in your phone. You aim about that phone number. I will by shaking. Yabo, 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 yabo. Then we say after yabo, yabo, I know where to pin you down. <laughs> if you must get God. You will clean up. God can never visit somebody that is keeping abominable things. That phone number, you know that this phone number is a trap. Anytime you see that phone number, your face starts shaking. What is that phone number doing in your phone? It's a sign you are not a broken Christian. We are noise makers. We are making noise. Those who are broken, they are voice. Now let me tell you something. Any man that God breaks, he makes. And anybody he makes, he beautifies. And anybody he beautifies, he makes a masterpiece. 
you become the peace, the mouthpiece peace of God. God cannot make you his voice when you are not broken. The death is to flesh. Now let me let me tip, okay. Go to let's let me finish it then. I will show you. I will go back to Roman 8 2. Then we we wrap it up. Look at this. What knew you not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, say he shall be one flesh. One flesh. Oh. That means the cause in this person transfer to this person. They become one. Poverty that is in this person will transfer to another person. They become one. That means what is in this person enter the other person. They become one. Understand it. You see somebody that's not progressing in life. He is not chopping you. The thing that he's carrying will enter and then trouble will come. That's what the scripture is saying. Run for your dear life. When you are broken, then the desire of flesh will die. You will see a woman, it does not mean anything to you. Because you are dead to flesh. Broken men are anointed men. Broken men are men who are empowered by their spirits. It's not by carrying big Bible. You need supernatural experience. Bring that scripture back. Bring it back. But he that joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Do you see? When you relate with Jesus, you are one with Christ. And then there's the, the, the law of the spirit of life will be inside your spirit. You are not hearing what I'm saying. When you want to go for a woman, then the brokenness through the law of the spirit of life, which has given you life, will say, what do you want to do? Don't you know whom you are? Don't you know that you are the body of Christ? Don't you know that your body is supposed to be a, 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 a living sacrifice acceptable and holy unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service or your worship? What do you want to do? Where are you going? You, you dress up to go and look for a babe and then brokenness, the law of the spirit of life will say, what, where are you going to? And then you are battling inside your heart. I want to go and see this babe. Say, go and sit down. You see, the law of the spirit of life is to resist you from doing evil. Why the law of sin and death say go and do evil? But the law of the spirit of life restricts us from doing evil. Are you learning? Go back, go back. Verse 18. Everybody wants to go. Let's read. Uh, you didn't read it well now. Read it because if you're in a way, then I, I will be hearing your voice. One, two, go, everybody. Did you hear that? Did you see that? Who said you do you not do you understand the meaning flee? Eh? What is flee? God said, run away from fornication. And some people carry their two legs. Walk into the fornication. And then expecting God to come and help them. <laughs> what God saw and said, run away from. You carry your two legs. Somebody carry his or her two legs, run into it, and there the person is praying. Let us be real. Let's be. 
be real. The next verse, 19. What? Know you not that your body is the what? Temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not. Do you see that your body is not your own? Somebody owns you. And you are going to give account of your body one day. Baby, we thank God for your beauty, but be very careful how you are using your body. I am an Emanama, Norutala, Noruana, Suike, Lotta, Lotta. Make a beauty in Aqua Aqua. No beauty intoxicates. When you go to the mirror and watch yourself, you are beautiful. Come, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Use your beauty for the glorification of Christ, not for destruction. One day, you and me will stand to give account how we use our bodies. I'm putting him with a baby now. As I'm talking, that webcam phone will delete your number immediately. On him with a guy, a guy, a man that's in a huge again, a abroad from God, delete the number now. Now, repentance is now. You are a married man here with a woman that is not your wife. As God is talking now, delete her number. And then if she, if she calls you, do something that will make her angry so that she will leave you. We take a We take a do 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 We take There are things you're supposed to do. You have not achieved it. And you are distracting your life. You know where I can. Bring the next verse, verse 20. Am I wasting your time? For you are bought with a what? A price. That means somebody owns you. Therefore glorify God in your what? In your body and in your spirit. Which are God's. That means God owns your body and your spirit. He said, worship him. Your body must worship. Do you see why some people that don't know the Bible, they said, God is in the heart, is not in the flesh. No. He said, with your body, worship him. So, as a Christian, you should not dress waywardly. You should not dress waywardly. You should not dress waywardly because God said we should worship him even with our body. Shout Hallelujah. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Can I hear you? Can I hear you? Can I hear you? Can I hear you? So it is the death of the words of the flesh. Brokenness is the death of the flesh. When you have dealt with flesh, we will not proceed into other things until next time. But listen, there are many works of flesh you should deal with. There are many wars of flesh. Gossiping. There are people in many local churches. They cannot win souls. They are not committed in the church. All they are doing is gossiping. They are gossiping with the man of God. They are gossiping with the woman of God. They are gossiping with members. Their ministry is the ministry of gossiping. They are not productive. They are not active. They are not, they are not relevant in the church. All they are doing is to gossip about people. Somebody got a hand to a and then hand on a group. That is witches and wizards in the pew. Otaka and Aja, other says, Somebody got a name, we don't wear angry. I hello, I am the man like this on our church. That is flesh. That is flesh. Mockery. There are people, there are Christians that are still mocking one another. They mock people. You see a brother whose shoe is bad. Instead of going to buy a shoe, I give to your brother. And then I will now, I will now, with my group that are practicing witchcraft, I'll say, hey, hey, hey. And then the other one will say, hey, they laugh. Do you see why many people are going to church? They are not blessed because they are not broken, they are walking after flesh. They are mocking people. And they fail to know that in every church there are angels. Angels are watching what we are doing. And they are taking record of what we are doing. If I mock my brother because of bad shoe, am I really, am I really revealing Christ? 
Am I really reflecting Christ? Am I really showing the love of Christ? No, we are. I am doing the work of devil by mocking that person. You see your brother, his shirt, his clothes is not good. Buy clothes and give him. Buy clothes and give her. And don't mock her. That is how to deal with flesh. That is the, that is the true sign of brokenness. That shows that that believer is broken. You do something good for a member, nobody will hear it. Somebody was telling me, there is one woman, the person ran away, I thank God, since they ran away, the church has filled up. And God, when I was praying, God said, leave, I remove these people. Because you don't know, you bring them close, they use their mouth to say a lot of evil things against the church. There are people like that in churches. They will never share any testimony. All they will do, eh, Three years ago, church were men monka. Man of God were men monka. In a mental case. In a conke church, you make a couple of in a church. If we get anybody again that do that, we discipline you very well. That error is completely gone. I told people on Wednesday, I said, God, I have agreed with my God. Again, Wednesday, for any hiding place for which is a wizard. The more the light, the more darkness disappears. I'll keep on teaching the word until everybody coming here will become a working word of God. The person appeared to me and said, there's a, a one woman in this church. When she doesn't have anything, I used to buy gary, buy beans, buy rice and give her. I said, shut up. You buy gary beans. Is it something? That you give somebody rice and beans and you are making mouth. Those that are giving, those that are giving houses, giving cars, giving millions are not talking. Or rice and beans. Come on, shut up. I did it to them. Yeah, that, that may be one of the reasons why they left. I said, go. This church is not for people who don't know where they are going now. If you watch, you can see there is high level of transformation. God had done what is called spiritual winnowing. The Bible calls it winnowing. What is winnowing? The Bible says God will come with his fork and he will separate seed from the chaff. Now listen, pastors, I don't know where you are, where you are listening to me. Don't cry and get discouraged when the church starts reducing. There will be a time of harvest. That is what is called harvest season of every church. What does it mean? Listen, in the harvest season of every church, there will be a reduction. Because at that time, God began to separate the seed from the chaff. You cannot eat rice with the chaff. You must separate the chaff from the main seed. So at times when the church decreases, pastor will now begin to be discouraged. By experience, chapter 5, verse 1. I am telling you, by the experience I've gotten in this area, at times the church will begin to reduce. People are going, people are going, yet you are praying. Pastor, keep on praying. You are studying, yeah, people are going out. Keep on studying. God is doing winnowing. It is the season of harvest for that church. God is removing the spiritual bandage and spiritual Boko Harams that feed the church in order to bring the right people and keep them inside the church. At times, you maintain that church is growing. You don't know that those that are sitting are vampires. How do you know the Bible said by their fruits? We shall know them. They feed the church. One, they are not winning soul. They cannot share testimony. They will even go to internet and, and comment on another church program by writing amen that from here I reach Abuja. Amen. But the program of their church, they will never comment. Boko Harams. How do you know Boko Harams? Spiritual bandits in churches. They will always bisect the man of God. The work of devil is to make people see what they are not supposed to see and make them hear what they are not supposed to hear. You should know them by their works. If you have, if you have good intention, you will find out and add more money to his or her salary. Not to make him feel cheated 
that the money being paid to him or her is small. You are working for your master, the devil. church and I put Agents of darkness. I will expose them. Again, we a hiding place. Those that used to carry members from a church to another ministry. Agents of doom. Then what are you doing there if you don't believe in the grace of the set man? The grace in your man or God will not work for you if you don't believe in him. Why you are carrying people from your church to another ministry is a true proof that you don't believe. He better be for a demonic assignment. He better be to really build. Because if you came to build, you will help the man of God to build. And you even pray for your man of God to have more anointing. Rather you gossip, if the man is not strong, your gossip will weigh him down. Your gossip will bring his grace down. You better leave. Or else we are sending supernatural militants against you. Already they have gone. They have gone. Oh. Harvest. Harvest season. Don't cry when they leave. Oh. You may not know what they are doing at your back. Hmm. You may not know what they are doing at your back. It is your prayer that has drive them out. In fact, they could no longer withstand your message. A uh, message I will on that as it will win win On a queen at one, you talk. Gente, oh, so mamma, I do talk. Oh, so mamma, bitter truth. Bitter truth. Oh, don't go bitter truth. Oh, don't go bitter truth. Oh, you can't name your mother here. In which I are here, make it. Yeah. I cannot be giving you juice. If I keep it, if I kept on giving you juice, diabetes. Spiritual diabetes. I need to give you a double beta tooth. Somebody shout yeah! Hey! The church is waxing strong. The church is moving higher, higher. Okay, now you know what I'm saying. 